In this Python tutorial, I will make a desktop application with a list box using the py simple GUI library. After entering a value into the input object, data is added to the list box object when you press the add button. We can add more than one data to the list box object. We can delete any added data by clicking the remove button. We will do the application together again. I will show you how to do it step by step in the video. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. So let's start. First, I will transfer the PY Simple GUI library. You can transfer the library using this code. I import the library. I am creating an object list. I add the input object to the list. I create a variable for the window. I send the title, layout and size values to the window function. I create an infinite while loop with true. I will create two variables named event and values. I synchronize the variables with the read function. Using these variables, I determine the operations to be performed in the application. For example, when the X button is pressed, the event variable becomes equal to wing closed. If the X button is pressed, I will end the while loop with the break command. Finally, I close the window. I created a window containing an input object. I add a button to the layout list. I added the button to the window. I add a remove button to the layout list. I added the button to the window. Finally, I add an exit button to the layout list. I added the button to the window. Now I will create the list box object. I am creating a variable. I will send a list to the list box function. I create an empty list. I send list, font, expand and events values to the list box function. I add the list box object to the layout list. I added the list box object to the window. Finally, I add a text object to the layout list. I send font and justification values to the text function. I added the text object to the window. I need to access objects. I define keys to access objects. I will access objects using these keys. If the add button is clicked, I add the input value to the list. I refresh the list with the update function.
I will indicate that a new data has been added to the text object. I'm creating a message variable. I refresh the text object by sending the message variable to the update function. Let's test the project. I enter a value into the input object. When you press the add button, the value is saved to the list box object. The added data is shown in the text object below. I will make a definition for the remove button. If the remove button is pressed, I first save the selected data into a variable. I delete the selected data from the list using the remove function. I update the list box object with the update function. I will indicate that the selected data in the text object has been deleted. I'm creating a message variable. I refresh the text object by sending the message variable to the update function. I'm testing the app. I enter values into the input object. When you press the add button, the value is saved to the list box object. The selected data is deleted from the list box object when you press the remove button. The app works exactly as I want. In the next video, we will make an example of the image element. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.